Hi guys, today I'd like to show you in a very short video how to make a very nice rewind effect in KEN Live. This effect will be in the style of an old VHS. Let's have a look. So it's pretty simple. The first thing you want to do is duplicate that clip on the left hand side to here on the right hand side. Then you want to speed it up. So to do so, you change the speed here, speed it up three times and you reverse the clip. Now you want to get rid of the audio track here and replace it with the, the sound of a rewinding cassette. So I found one on pixabay.com that's um, supposed to be royalty free. Now you want to add an icon um, here that's blinking. So I picked a random SVG on the internet and made it blink. So the duration is five frames and the distance between two um, icons is five frames as well. The only thing I had to do is reduce this, its size um, using the transform effect. So down to 40%. All right, now the effects. So only four of them. Um, the very first one you want to add is the glitch effect. Um, so let's disable them all. The glitch effect is um, adds those uh, horizontal bars here. Uh, that was pretty common uh, with cassettes back in the day. Um, so here you've got the options to say the frequency, how many times you want it to appear how big um, they are, uh, intensity, uh, etc. So I recommend setting a block height of zero pixels, otherwise it looks a bit odd. Let's see. Yeah, it doesn't look very natural. All right, now that we've got the glitches, let's um, add some distortion in the colors. So to do so, we're gonna add the LGB split or effect. So what it does is basically it splits the colors, so red, green, and blue, and then you can separate them. You can add some distance between them. Um, I find 0.54 to be working pretty well for me, so that's why I picked it. Now you want to add some grain or some noise, so. This is the, um, the filter I recommend using. Again, you can pick any any number here. Um, I recommend not going above 50, otherwise it's a bit too much. And finally, you wanna make it look a bit sepia. So I don't recommend using the built-in uh, sepia effect here because it's, it's a bit too much and you don't have any control over it. Um, while with the color effect, you can pick between um, a few options here. Um, I found the sepia one and the old photo one to be working pretty well. Um, they look very good. So yeah, any of those two should work. And that's it. Hope you liked it. Let me know in the comments. Thank you and goodbye.